we have some terrible news to share with you. This is hard for the Nuggets franchise, no. No. Nuggets fans, and especially Jamal Murray no. is official. He has a torn ACL in his left knee last night against the Warriors when it happened. Jalen, what does this mean for Jamal, and what does this mean for the Nuggets franchise? I hate this for Jamal, first and foremost, so much because he was a breakout star in the bubble last year, mm -hmm. and he was going to explode in this year's playoffs because the Nuggets were a true contender in the Western Conference with him healthy. Now that he has a torn ACL, Jacoby, it's so very unfortunate because the West is so tough, they could likely now lose in the first round. Mm -hmm. That's how significant this injury is. And also, the injury normally takes 12 months. Right now, it's the middle of April. That takes him through the regular season next year also, potentially. Wow. Which now, if you're the Denver Nuggets, you have to try to figure a way to replace him. And so now it makes you have to do other moves, like a player that they may not consider trading. You may now have to consider trading a Michael Porter Jr. or something like that. You never know. But this is devastating for the Denver Nuggets, their team, and the Murray family. I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. Yeah, we wish Jamal a speedy recovery. And the Nuggets, do your best in the playoffs. Well, the other side, the other team that was on the court last night, led by Steph Curry, who put up, oh, I don't know, 53 points and became the Warriors franchise all-time leading scorer, passing the legend Wilt Chamberlain. Jalen Rose, what does this Warriors team and Steph Curry's performance last night tell you about their future this season? See, where Steph revolutionized the game is not only is he a terrific shooter, but he's an outstanding scorer. And based on that unique ability that he has to finish at the hoop using both hands and jumping off of both feet, he also elongates the floor to the point where there's nobody in the history of the NBA that has made more 10 that that has made 10 threes in a game more often than Steph Curry. Just think about that making 10 three-point shots multiple times in an NBA basketball. You know how difficult that is? Crazy. <laughs> to be able to create your own shot like that and, and, and constantly, and the defense knows this, like this is why Steph Curry, when people start talking about the best players in the league, he got to be in your top five. Well, another player in the top five in that list is Joel Embiid, and him and the Sixers went up against the Mavs yesterday. It was the second of a back-to-back -back for the Mavs. They did not play KP, and they could have used him because Joel Embiid scored 36 points in just 26 minutes. And not just that, watching this game, he made it look so easy to do. Jalen, what do you think about Embiid's performance and these Sixers as they try to lock up the number one seed in the Eastern Conference? You know I love that old-school dominance in an era where I'm watching teams that shoot the ball from 35 feet before it barely even touches their hands. To watch a big guy massage possessions, jab, step back, overpower smaller defenders. And you got some old school coaches over there like Doc and Sam. They like, wait a minute, Porzingis ain't playing? Post him up every time. Post him up mm -hmm. every time. Throw out the game plan. Like, we're we, we gonna treat it like it's the park and it's raining. Like, it's layup for a dunk every time. But the one thing, the other guy pictured right there, they're gonna need Ben Simmons to still play like an all-star and all-NBA performer. While mm -hmm. Joel is dominant and you're able to put those shooters around him, Ben is at the dunker spot a lot. And in the playoffs, that now becomes an extra defender to not only help on Joel, but to continue to limit Ben Simmons. So if Philadelphia is going to be one of the best teams in advance out of the East, they're going to still need more production more production from Ben Simmons. That's a good point. Also, one thing I want to point out is just how many times Joel Embiid goes to the free throw line. I think he went 15 times last night. He averages about 11 or 12 every single game. He oh, just gets the Chevy. other centers in foul trouble so early. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.